Good morning, or good afternoon, boys and girls, depending on what time you're watching this. Uh, my name is Mr. Gilbert, and I'm one of the science teachers here at Malo Junior High. Um, today, uh, we are going to be doing a virtual demonstration because we're not face-to-face. -face. So, Mrs. Jacobs is going to be collecting all the data, and she's doing all the filming, so I guess I'll do all the talking. So, the first thing that we're going to be doing today is this is going to be our introductory, or we're actually done a few of these already of claim evidence reasonings. So we're going to have you do one here on your own and see if you can come up with the right answer. So the question that we'll be tackling today is which hole will allow the water to travel the farthest? So that'll be the question that we're trying to figure out. And what we're going to be using is a um, Simply Lemonade, not from concentrate, uh, container um, of lemonade. So this is a clear container that holds approximately 1.75 liters and I put three holes in the side of the container. Now, because the container is a little bit wet, you're not gonna be able to see, but there is a hole here, a hole here, and a hole right here. And those three holes are approximately 3.6 centimeters apart. They are all of the same size, and the holes are located all in a straight line or on top of each other. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna put a piece of tape over the holes, I'm going to fill up the bottle with water and then I am going to rip the tape off and we're going to try to see which hole will allow the water to travel the farthest. So at this point you should be making a claim. So based off of what we just said, we gave you a little information here. What is your claim? And remember a claim is an answer to the question. So maybe you're going to answer on previous knowledge or whatever. So when you think about this, there are possible answers. Maybe it's the middle hole, maybe it's the first hole, maybe it's the bottom hole, maybe none of the water is going to come out, or maybe the water is going to come out all the same distance. So I'm going to give you guys a minute or two to think about that, and then go ahead and uh, write your claim down while I go fill this up with water. So here we have a bottle that is filled with water, and I'm now going to rip uh, the tape off, and let's see what happens. Okay, so hopefully you were able to uh, see exactly what happened there. Uh, we were able to measure this out. We did have a meter stick out and we were able to calculate it really quick. And you can see that the top hole traveled a distance of 3.5 centimeters, the middle hole traveled a distance of 5.0 centimeters, and the bottom hole traveled a distance of 7.0 centimeters. Also, if you looked at velocity, it appeared that the bottom hole, the velocity was the strongest out of that hole as well. So now you have uh, a question, you've made a claim, and now you have uh, a lot of observations right here, and now you're gonna use this to now finish up the rest of this activity. <laughs> 